Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm going to share with you the souvenirs that I brought back from my last vacation, which was a cruise. Uh, we went to Grand Turk, Puerto Rico, and Dominican Republic, and I had an amazing time. You will notice though that I didn't bring back many gifts for other people. The main reason being the things, the people that I would have brought back stuff for, I was already on the cruise with, so that kind of made it easy. And the only thing that we brought back for someone was my grandmother. We brought her back a Caribbean rum cake. I was I think Tortuga Caribbean rum cake and we got her the original and she enjoyed it she's someone who likes sweets and I didn't want to bring something that uh, wasn't her style or just something to she already has a lot of stuff so she doesn't really need any more I mean she's 87 years old so um, I just we just decided to bring her back something that she would enjoy and taste a little bit of the Caribbean and she loves sweets so we went in that direction and now I'm gonna get started with all the other stuff I brought back I went a little overboard with a certain something which you will see coming up very shortly but let's get started uh the first thing i share with you is from grand turk and before i went on the trip i knew that i wanted to try to get an ornament from every place that we visited unfortunately this was the only ornament actually that's not true uh this this was the only ornament from the courts that i had found and i was really i wanted each of the ornaments to have exactly where we went um, so this one is from Grand Turk and I love that there's a red ribbon this says Grand Turk Turks and Caicos and I really do like this picture and I love that it's in glass um, they were a bunch of other ones this one was five dollars which I thought wasn't too bad and unfortunately I couldn't find one in Puerto Rico every time we've gone to Puerto Rico it has been so hot unbearably hot um so after we didn't want to we went to a nice place to eat which was a great memory and that's something that i'll have uh, i just don't have anything hard to hold uh but i'm very fine with that and i'm sure we'll be back there and then the dominican republic we were the port was in amber cove but we did not stay in amber cove we did an excursion it was the waterfalls of dama jagua and we didn't think at the time they had a little gift center but for some reason we didn't go there and i'm sure they would have had something uh, that said the waterfalls but when we went back to the port it was just all amber cove stuff and i didn't really see anything i didn't want to force myself to buy something uh so i didn't uh we did get another ornament though and it was from the ship and it's this thing is this ornament right here and i absolutely love this thing i think it's super cute it doesn't say carnival sunrise but it does have the fun on the back so you'll know what car what cruise line it is and i just thought that was super cute they did have a keychain one but i wanted one with the string the gold string so you could hang it up on the tree and i decided at the i saw this at the beginning of the trip and i was like i'm gonna buy that uh, i'm sure that i'll have plenty of time and then when i decided to buy it towards the end of the trip they didn't have any out they just had the ones with the keychain and i was like oh no i should have bought it at the beginning uh but i was like listen i want the one with the gold string can you please check somewhere for me in the back and then she went down to the drawers and she was rummaging around and she found this and i was so happy i love it i think that's super cute and at the bottom i could write carnival sunrise and you know the dates that i went but really happy i found that so nothing from Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, like I said, I really wish I could find something that said the excursion that we were on, but I decided while we're in the duty free that, you know what, I think I'm going to try their coffee. So I got this one. It says Cafe Caribbean and it is a dark roast, which I love. So super excited to try this. I love coffee and I thought that that might be fun to try. And then I also got vanilla pure extract sorry it says vanilla and then pure vanilla extract and they had a white and i've never seen a white vanilla extract and they said that was more for cooking uh, i guess i could try that but i just i go for this uh we're running low on our vanilla extract and i thought this was such a cute bottle and i could definitely reuse it so pick that up and then now the rest of the stuff are things from the ship i believe 
The first is, the first of many, is this funnel. And it was a souvenir drink cup. But you could turn this into, I didn't get a drink in this one. You could turn it into a piggy bank. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this in my room. We do have a main piggy bank in the, we do have a piggy bank in the main part of the house. Like a big white piggy bank. And so I thought I would get one and put it in here. So that's what I'm going to do. Next souvenir cup is a shark it was we were sitting next to these group of ladies and i saw it and i was like where did you get that they told me i rushed off to get it when i came back with two they were laughing the reason i got two was my sister was this was the like the item that she wanted uh from the cruise and i found it for her and i knocked on the door and i was like I had the shark out and I was by the door when she opened it. She was so happy. Super cute. I did get a drink in here. It was the Miami Vice, which was my drink of choice during the cruise. It's half pina colada, half strawberry daiquiri. Amazing. This you cannot turn into a biggie bank, which is unfortunate, but you can put stuff in here. I think I might do that. I don't know. I think it might be fun to put it in the kitchen somewhere. But I could find room for it in my office slash closet. I think I might put my chapsticks in here. Or you could even put like Q-tips or something. I don't know. It's just so cute. So I got that. And yes. The final souvenir cup. There, There is one more. Is something that I wanted from the last cruise that we went on with Carnival, which was in 2016. I saw people walking around with it and I just could not find it. I didn't look hard enough, I don't think, but ta -da! I think this is so fun. I, it's the Zisco Ball. Steve found this for me. He kept on walking off by himself to places. I'd be like, why didn't you take me? Or where'd you go? And he didn't really answer. But finally, when he found it, he was, he was so happy. And I'm like super excited. I want to share this, open this. Why can't I open this? That's weird. Okay. That was weird. Um, so you open this up and this and the shark both come with that cup. And in here, which I didn't realize until I started filming this video, is... Look. This string. You could hang this thing. I think that is so awesome. So I'm going to hang this in my room. You might see it in a video. Next up... I, Ooh, let me. This is the bag that I carried the souvenirs back in because there was no room in my suitcase for things. From the ship, I made uh, Michael's. They do Michael's crafts at nine thirty. This one, you, it was watercolor. Or no, sorry, you use watercolor markers, and then um, you use the stamp after dried and then marker and then, uh, permanent markers. And so I made that one. It says, in case you can't read, uh, the bottom one, stay curious, stay curious. So I made that. I did go back a few times, but, um, this one was my favorite one, this activity. There was another one where you could make a tassel bracelet and then one my sister went to and it was, is it a postcard? I forgot. Something like that. Um, another fun thing that I did on the ship was take a whiskey class. Now, to be honest, I probably wouldn't recommend it just because I did. I feel like I didn't learn that much from the class. It was fun, though. And if you like whiskey, you could just, essentially, you could just drink shots of whiskey at the class. But I did make my own bottle. It says Sam Sunrise. I made that connection with my name and the ship and then the date that it was put together and the, the, the types of whiskey I put in here. So I thought that was really cute and you get 100 mLs. Next is, so they always have Carnival and I'm sure other cruise lines do this where during the last couple of days, they do two for 20 t-shirts and there was a few cute ones, but me and my sister got the same exact one and it worked out because it was two for 20 and it is this t-shirt. It says, life is a carnival, get on board. And the sunglasses. I thought this was really cute and I'm going to wear this as pajamas. So excited. And then 
we're getting close to the end here. The last thing, just want to make sure. Oh no! So we were, we went to the arcade a lot, and I played this one game where I didn't know what I was doing, but I was just getting tickets, and so I got up, I got three thousand, and I decided to redeem it for this charge pad, and it works, and I thought that was pretty good. Um, probably paid more into games than was worth that, but I want something. It was cute. Um, and functional. And then the last thing is my favorite, probably, souvenir slash memory is my trophy. I won this for the Golden Girls Trivia, and I wasn't going to go, but I decided to go, and... I was super nervous. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get no anything. They're gonna ask us trick questions. They're gonna be like, what are the main characters' kids' names? Who who did Dorothy marry at the end of season seven? What was his name? And I was just psyching myself out. But as I was answering the questions, I was like, hey, I know a lot of this. So um, at the end, they ask you, raise your hand if you have five, and then you keep your hands up if you get more questions right. And I was like this, and when we got to 13, 14, it was only 15 questions. When we got to 13, I think a lot of people put their hands down. Um, and there was only a few. So during the, when they do trivia, some of the events are super crowded. Like, I think the superheroes one that Steve and John won were super crowded. And um, Harry Potter is always crowded. This one, there wasn't a lot of people. Um, but some people knew the Golden Girls and I was, I was the only one that had the 15 questions and I was really excited to win. So I'm proud of that. I'm going to put at the bottom here, um, the category of trivia, it was Golden Girls trivia and, uh, the, when I went. So really excited. Those are the souvenirs that I brought back. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, I probably won't get as many souvenir cups. I feel like I have a problem, but I'm pretty happy that I didn't bring back a bunch of stuff that I was going to clutter up or forget about. And I think I did really well in that department, but I had a really great time and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And there was one more straggler on the floor and it is because I've been with Car I've taken Carnival Cruises, I think this would have been my fourth one. I got the VIFP Club uh, 2019 Golden Pin, which is really exciting. We're probably going to take a break from Carnival just because uh, we want to try a different ship, but we were kind of disappointed with this one. It was still good, but not up to what we've had with them before. So it'll be nice to take a little break and come back and see um, them after we take another kind of cruise line so yeah now this is officially goodbye